Yeah, free duct tape. process of cutting this 36 volt battery down to a 24 and a 12 so I'm gonna fast forward through that Alright Shark Slicer, you're getting some new batteries. Get these old lead acid ones out of here. Okay, these are all my negatives. Let's go make one of these for the positives. Alright, this is all my negatives. Here's all my positives. Now I just need to get my batteries arranged. Maybe I'll just see how these fit first. I can just fit four side by side. Let me just check that. Yeah, still space. Good. I guess I don't need anything fancy here. There's going to be seven of these in parallel, so the wires coming off each one will only have a seventh of the amount of power coming through it. So I can use fairly light gauge wire. One, run one from there to here, and one from there to wherever the there. And put the next battery in, do the same thing. All right. This is some of my wire out of the garbage from the junkyard. I just stripped the end here though. And it's still shiny, so I think it's in good shape. Check this. All right, my plus or minus? You know, it says these batteries give off 2,250 amps. Oh, man, that's not kidding. Cool. <laughs> okay, this thing has auto equalize once in a while, which like overcharges the batteries. So I'm going to take that out. Uh, I'm going to put this in. Luckily, I bought a few of these not too long ago. I'll need to put these batteries in on either side too. Yeah, let's get them charging. All right, I also need to put something here so that water doesn't get splashed in there. Because the lead acid batteries, they're pretty much sealed. If a few drops get in there, not a problem. But these guys, I don't want any water to get in there or on there. Or, yeah. All right, let me just put the rest of these stupid batteries in first then. Arr. Oh, it's a the dumping area. All right. 
So a few months ago, I took the four batteries out from under here and put them somewhere else because they it was an emergency. I needed some batteries, and then I just used under here for storage. So I need to take all that stuff out. Plus, I've got like yeah, I just need to move stuff out of the way. All right, it wasn't as bad as it looked. Okay, guys, let's see. You connect this to there, and a positive wire off that, and a negative off here. All right, got those guys in. Oh, I'm missing a plastic sheet here. Ah, eh, whatever. Do I have time to put this in before the sun goes down? All right, I got the solar panel negative, the battery negative, the solar panel plusative, and the battery plusative. Okay. Yes. Okay. Let's get this sucker covered up. Oh, I'm just noticing walking around back here the boat moves so much more because those other batteries weighed way more So now the boats all like floating high and stuff. Yes, I've been meaning to do that for months Oh, I can't wait to go for a test drive right now though swim time Well, I still need to put a cover there and a cover on this side and then put a voltmeter up there because this thing just has a blinky light that doesn't give much information. But all that stuff is not important. I can test it without that.